Alex Bell is back with an avatar cabbage theory. Let's see what he's working Water. with. What he talking about? Fire. Cabbage. My cabbages! Yo, My cabbage this guy. Of avatar the Last Airbender is a Fire Nation spy. And yeah. I believe he is the true villain of Avatar. Yeah. Secretly orchestrating the events of both <laughs> shows. And also I think he's cabbage bending. But but we'll get to that part later. Okay. Now I but know so? that sounds crazy, but it's I promise a, you, he just put a cabbage in the most yeah. convincing <laughs> Avatar theory you will ever hear. This is cabbage theory. Over or under, it will make no sense. I think it'll make a little bit of sense. It's, it's Alex. I'm no, going under. I got, I got faith in Alex. Just a I love bit. Alex. You know what I'm saying? Based on based on previous history, I love I got Alex. A little faith, but it's such a stretch. <laughs> This is like, <laughs> this is the biggest Alex stretch of all time. Let's find out. Let's go, man. bro. Let's find Let's see, let's see. Book one, Cabbage Merchant. Okay. It's a Fire Nation spot. Loving the style. So, Avatar The Last Airbender. I'm guessing most people who clicked on this video have already seen it, but on the off chance you haven't, it's basically a show where some people can control one of the four elements. Okay. And the Avatar, the only top person three. who can master all four Damn elements, top one. has to stop the Fire Nation top from three taking show. over the world. But why would I possibly think that a random Earth Kingdom cabbage merchant is actually a Fire Nation spy? And a cabbage bender. It's the faces. We'll later. You know, he's just a funny running gag character. All we ever see him do is get his cabbages destroyed. My cabbages! Over and over. Cabbages! Over and My over. Cabbages! Bro, I That's just realized suck. that voice. That sounds like one of the that sounds like the guy that plays Jackie Chan in Jackie Chan Adventures. Mm. That sounds like that voice actor. We have uh, uh, um like you know we YouTubers, right? Like we YouTubers, like that's what we do, right? I didn't know that. You didn't know what the hell you mean? I thought, we, I thought we were just friends who hung out. Like, like, but we're YouTubers, right? Technically. Yeah, yeah okay, right, right, right. That. Why is there a streaming spy in our doorway? Show yourself! How long has she been there? She been standing there. <laughs> spy. I've been for standing there. <laughs> for a minute. Wait, you don't believe it? I, I, no, I believe you've been standing there. No, I'm saying you don't believe it, dude. No, nah, I don't believe it. Well, we haven't got into it yeah. yet, oh, but yeah. 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 okay, yeah. okay, we're gonna prove it wrong. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a boy, Alex Bell. Yes! Think Alex Bell. Well, think about it. We are told many times throughout the show that there are Fire Nation spies. He was okay. probably trying to signal the Fire Navy. Oh yeah, I'm sure he's a spy for the Fire Navy. How do we know you're not Fire Nation spies? Jet, he's just an old man. Plan C. Fire Nation. He was sent to eliminate me. But strangely, we never actually see any of them. But yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, who, we do. Who, who is uh, that? In, um, I think it's, which one that has the wall? I think it's Boxing Say. We see him in Boxing Say. Okay. The, um, I think they're called the Ty Lee. Not the Ty Lee. The dudes who bend the gloves, weren't they working for Azula? Weren't they, are they considered Fire Nation spies? Or did they, or is that just a coup? At okay. the same time, we know there must be spies out there because someone is giving Zuko very detailed information about the gang's whereabouts. We're closing in on the Avatar's trail. There have been multiple sightings of the Avatar. Somehow Prince Zuko and the Fire Nation keep finding us. And let me ask you this. Sure. You sure what does the gang constantly run into throughout the entire show? He putting himself in the way, Loki. The Cabbage Merchant. They do. Okay, I know. It, it still sounds like a stretch, but don't worry. It, it definitely still sounds like a stretch. Okay. In book three, the gang goes to see a Fire Nation play all about their adventures. You guys are not going to believe Why this. Why is there a play, a play about... Oh! Oh! Why is there a oh, play about... Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Spit it out. This might make sense. It could. I told you, Alex, we got a little faith. Gotta have a little faith. And you're about to see why in this place specifically. Told you. About us. <laughs> I'm the Avatar, silly. Here to spread joy and fun. It's basically just Fire Nation propaganda where the Fire okay. Lord is shown as the good guy Makes and sense. wins in the end. Oh, like North Korea? Is mine. But other than that, the plot of the play is surprisingly accurate. Riddles and challenges must you face. No, Jet, what did they do to you? Must destroy! 
So where did they get all of this information about the gang? His sources include singing nomads, pirates, prisoners of war, and a surprisingly knowledgeable merchant of cabbage. Oh my god. Yep. That's crazy. Yep. That's cr They got the information right from him! Knowledgeable merchant of cabbage. Yep. Huh. If he's not a spy, he at least gave oh up some information. God. He at least did oh that. Oh my god. Gee. Okay. This is about to make sense. Why did the cabbage merchant, an Earth Kingdom citizen, help them write Fire Nation propaganda? Because he's actually a Fire Nation spy. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I'm just overthinking no. this. Maybe okay. he didn't necessarily know he was helping the Fire Nation. For all we know, someone just asked him about the Avatar, That's and he was more picture. than willing to complain <laughs> about the guy who has destroyed his cabbages many times. Possible. Possible. You know, he might be a little petty, but there's no reason to think he's secretly trying to take down the Earth Kingdom. Right? Wasn't he... Didn't they actually bring him up in the play, too? Or am I, or am I mis mis I feel like he would have showed that in the play. In book two, the cabbage merchant tries to take the ferry to Ba Sing Se, but uh -huh. he gets rejected by the ticket lady. I told you already, no vegetables on the ferry. One cabbage slug could destroy the entire ecosystem of Ba Sing Se. Security! Ah! Oh, my God! Hey. She destroys his cabbages to avoid risking cabbage slugs from getting into the city. Now, this may seem mm -hmm. like a bit of an overreaction, but Ba Sing Se is a closed off, self contained ecosystem. Yeah. If the wrong pest got in, it could quickly spread and be devastating for the city's agriculture yeah. and economy. And Attack you know, on Titan that city. I was just about to say, you ever realize it's yeah. the same as Attack on Titan? Yeah. The three walls. <laughs> you know what's crazy about all this? She was right. I mean, how why is that crazy? Oh! What? If oh. You look really closely as the cabbage cart gets destroyed, you can just barely see a cabbage slug flying okay. through the air. One cabbage slug could destroy the entire ecosystem of Ba Sing Se. Oh, was, was he, he trying to? Yep. Says, he was trying to. The cabbage slug would destroy the entire ah. ecosystem of Ba Sing Se. If the cabbage merchant actually got into Ba Sing Se like he wanted, he would have personally been responsible they for said the, the greatest have of the capital of it. the Earth Kingdom. They confirmed what? That that was a slug. Oh. Okay, okay, that's, that's that not like bottom. a great look for the cabbage man, but you know, maybe, maybe it was just an accident. Nope. No, Dang, no, she's I smart. refuse to accept that. Look at this the lady. Guy. He is lady. so passionate yeah, he and obsessed about cabbage with his cabbages. Off with their heads! One for each head of cabbage! Literally, his only defining trait is how much he cares about his cabbages. <laughs> Does this really seem like the type of- What if he, he turns by? Because he was pissed about his cabbages. I, I can believe it. Uh, he was here. First, he was regular lovey dovey cabbage man, and then one too many destruction of properties. Or what if he, he he's always been a sleeper agent? Could be. Either way, I'm very I interested. Wouldn't know if he had cabbage slugs. He's a Fire Nation spy. But why? I mean, he clearly has a vendetta against Aang. But why would he be intentionally trying to take down the Earth Kingdom? Well. Aang is not the only one who destroys his cabbages. We've seen him try to enter both Omashu and Ba Sing Se, and both times, Earth Kingdom bureaucrats destroyed his cabbages. What kind of slum do you think this is? <laughs> Doing them dirty, bro. Security! <laughs> And these are only the times that we actually know about. For all we know, this is a regular occurrence for him. <laughs> and then yeah. he's forced to watch as they immediately let Aang, his mortal enemy, inside directly after him. My cabbages! Enjoy your mushroom. We will. Security! Both times. It is my pleasure to help. Both oh, times. That lady good. He didn't even have a ticket to get into Bossing Say. What the? Wow. Hell? And when Aang does destroy his cabbages and he tries to get justice, you're gonna pay for this. Off with their heads. One for each head of cabbage. Guess what the Earth Kingdom authorities do to Aang? What Nothing. is your judgment, sire? Throw them. <gasps> 
feast. <laughs> wow. They throw him a feast. The cabbage merchant has just as much reason to hate the Earth Kingdom. And I think the years of abuse and special uh -huh. treatment for the Avatar Entirely. radicalized him into yeah. becoming a Fire Nation spy, attempting to take down the Earth Kingdom from within using infested cabbages. And you know what? I don't even think this was his only attempt to do this. I told you already! No vegetables oh, on the already, The ticket already. lady says, I told you already. Oh, multiple attempts. This is not the first time he's tried slugging. Why he just don't get a ticket, take the slug in in his pocket, and go on up in there? Without the cabbage. He cabbage slugs into Boston. Uh, it might Sam. die on a and journey. When he tried to enter Omashu, listen to why the guards rejected him. Rotten cabbages? What kind of slum do you think this is? Rotten cabbage. Oh, why is your cabbage there? rotten? The slugs are there. Once again, trying to sneak in infested cabbages into Omashu. And you know what? I think this time he actually succeeded. Despite being rejected and having his cabbage cart completely destroyed, just a few minutes later, we see him inside of the city with a whole new cart full of cabbages. Whoa. <laughs> My cabbages! How the hell did he get in? My cabbages! How the oh, hell did he get what? in? Did he just find a spare cart full of oh. cabbages somewhere? Whoa! No. I actually think these are the same cabbages. We know from Return to Omashu huh? that there is a secret sewer entrance into the city beneath the gate. A secret passage? Oh yeah! Ah. Which is exactly where the merchant's cabbages were thrown. That's crazy. If that's a plan that he had, bro, 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 that's bro. insane. And there's a high <laughs> likelihood that he's an earthbender as well. Oh my god. Oh my jeez. Oh my god. It's all making sense to him now. Oh he had no god. hope. He had no hope, Alex. Oh my Ashley, god. Get dude. your man. Michael. <laughs> so I think the cabbage man went down there to retrieve his cabbages, discover the secret entrance, and successfully brought the infested cabbages into the city to weaken it for the Fire Nation. And you know what's really crazy about this? Wait, 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 wait. How did Omashu fall? How did Omashu fall? If Omashu fell due to something with food rationings, Alex might be a genius. Mm. Oh, I thought you looked up just she's there. No, no, no. It worked. The next time we see Omashu, it's been conquered by the Fire Nation. Yeah, the right. Earth Kingdom city of Om. Oh no. But how did they conquer? They even make a point to tell us how surprising this is and how Omashu had never been conquered for the entire Hundred Year War. I can't believe it. I know the war is pretty far, it? but Omashu always seems That's what we need to know. Up until now, it was. So why is it now suddenly so vulnerable? It's because Omashu, of the- Omashu is, Omashu is a barren city. So with it being a barren city, um, not really a barren city, the agriculture there is a lot different from most places. Also, if he actually got those cabbages from that sewer line, he could have told the Fire Nation about, about the, sewer. the sewer line. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Cabbage merchant. And this is also exactly what happened to Ba Sing Se. He was rejected entry, his cabbages got destroyed, but then later we see him inside of the city with cabbages. How the hell? What, he did made it. The fucking serpents pass, and then shortly after he arrives he and starts it. selling his cabbages, the city gets conquered by the he fire. Made it. Hmm, I, I'm starting to notice maybe a little a little pattern here. You can't deny it anymore. There's there's too many. It he made it, it in, bro. I didn't know he made it. <laughs> the only thing that's missing is is them solidifying it had something to do with weakening trade routes. I mean, it's got half a video left. Dude, we about to find out. The Dude. cabbage merchant is working for the Fire Nation to help take down the Earth Kingdom and spy on the Avatar. And speaking of which, how exactly is the cabbage merchant spying on the gang? 
Like, obviously they've bumped into each other a couple times, uh -huh, but uh -huh. Zuko and the Ember Island players have a ton of information about the gang. Here's what you missed. We went to the Fire Nation, and you got better, and I got a sword, and I think Combustion Man died. Like, way more than anyone should have. It almost feels like there's something else going on here. And if you don't believe me, I reached out to a certified Avatar expert to see if there was any more examples of the His name is literally overanalyzed an Avatar. <laughs> right, so like in book three, when everyone thinks Aang is dead, how does Zuko's assassin combustion man keep finding them? It couldn't have just been dumb luck three times in eight episodes nah. that he was just around, right? Seems sure. unlikely. And how'd they know to put Toph in a wooden cell anyway? I'm gonna turn you in and collect mm -hmm. a reward. Then you metal bend yourself out of jail. Hey, what kind of cell is this? A wooden one. If you think about it, no one in the Fire Nation should know that metal oh, bending exists. Shit. Toph only created wow. it a few weeks ago when the only people that have seen it are from the Earth Kingdom and the Fire wow. Nation troops aboard that ship who were probably just horribly, horribly killed by the serpent. And Toph never uses metal bending in her scams in that episode, only earth bending. So why in the world would the Fire Nation town guards think they use a wooden cell when they're not even aware that metal bending is a thing? Wow. Thank you, Mr. Overanalyzing Avatar. So, how could the Fire Nation <laughs> oh, possibly know uh -huh. all of this? Especially the stuff in Book 3 when the Cabbage Merchant isn't even around. It's almost Crazy. like the Fire Nation has another way to spy on the gang. A way that still involves the Cabbage Merchant, even if he isn't nearby. Oh okay, God. here's where my theory goes into full-on tinfoil hat conspiracy mode, so okay, okay. just, just getting crazy. Yourself. There is crazy. a really strange detail in the episode, The Puppet Master. An episode that the Cabbage Merchant isn't even in. But still, I honestly think it's one of the strangest things in the entire show. That in this about episode, the there, right? gang goes to a Fire Nation market and Katara uh -huh. buys a cabbage. Except uh -huh. there's something very weird about this cabbage. It Look, clearly face. has a very creepy Why? looking what the face hell? on it. Like, uh, huh? I swear, this is actually in the show. I, I did not edit this in. It's never even acknowledged in the episode. It's just a weird, creepy face watching the characters for no reason. Some people think it's supposed to be Grand Grand's face since Katara mentions her in this scene. Uh, Why in the world would the anime wait, creepy face edit this in? It's never even acknowledged even in the episode. Up. It's just a weird, creepy face watching the I don't think it looks like no her, reason. and that wouldn't explain why, why the, the face shows up on a random the cabbage. Yeah. Include this. It's so weird. Okay, so I have a theory. But what I'm about to say is going to sound completely insane. It's probably the stupidest possible thing I could say, but... What if the Cabbage Merchant is using the cabbages to spy on the gang? Yes. How the hell would I he do that? That the Cabbage Merchant How is a cabbage bender. That's what he does. Okay, wait, wait, don't, don't go. I, I, I it's know it's real tin foil. Stupid, but I swear it makes no, sense. No, you, you lost me. me. You lost me. This show, he, you lost me. You he lost sucked them right in. He no, did he? And he just lost. Because you got to think about it. You have to think about the connection between avid like vendors and their element. I ain't never heard of of nothing. Okay, I'm gonna just give it the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> I'm gonna be open to interpretation. But this so where the hell he get this new cabbage from when he snuck into this place? Both times. By well, the way, first time it was the sword. First time it was a sewer. Second time. At the same time, brand new cart for real. Second time. Second time. All unless he got somebody else working with him. He can have a network of cabbage people. But how did cabbage even get in if they don't want the cabbage in? They could not want his in. They could already have cabbage merchants inside. Is a precedent for being able to spy on people through vegetation with the swamp. I think I know how to find them. Everything oh. is connected. Oh yeah. The old reel of them back in. But that was at the swamp Come on, though. You gotta hurry. And it isn't even just like an avatar power either. Toph can use the swamp vines to literally see the entire world. I'm more connected to what? the world than you've ever been. I can see Sue and Lin. Zao Fu and Republic City, I see everything. Now, obviously, this cabbage is not part of the swamp. 
But a major theme of Avatar is how separation is just an illusion and everything is connected. Okay. I get how the tree is one big thing, but the whole world? Sure. You think you're any different from me or your friends or this tree? The greatest illusion of this world is the illusion of separation. Things you think are separate and different are actually one and the same. Even the separation of the four elements is an illusion. We're all connected. Everything is connected. So everything in this world, including the cabbage merchant and cabbages across the entire world, are connected. And I think the merchant is somehow tapping into this connection to spy on the gang. I think like technically you could we do this with anything though. in Avatar. He's just like really honed his ability on cabbages. He's cabbage bending. And I have evidence to prove it. His okay, weird so me. spiritual connection to cabbages explains why he's so obsessive and protective of them. Off with their heads! One for each head of cabbage! And it also explains why he's constantly feeling them for some reason. I mean, he could just be a weirdo. <laughs> He's not just randomly caressing a cabbage, he's connected with it through cabbage bending. And if you don't okay. believe me, one time while he's feeling a cabbage, we can see him literally sense the gang coming. <gasps> yeah, there was a falling sound, but if you listen closely, he senses them before we can hear the sound. sense them through the cabbage. This also explains how he would have been able to find the secret entrance so into ridiculous. Omashu. His cabbages fell down near the entrance, allowing him to sense it. I, I know it sounds crazy, but the evidence is here. The cabbage merchant is cabbage bending. Every time we see cabbages in this show, the merchant is using them to spy on the gang. He is always watching them. He's Imagine this is a real thing that he wrote in. Character. He is a highly skilled double this... agent working for the Fire Nation. And if you still, after all of this, oh, don't man. believe that, then let me ask you this. How did a failing cabbage merchant get enough money to start an extremely successful technology company in the Wait legend of Korra? Wait, Wait a minute. Republic Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. in technology for over 50 years. No! Not my cabbage corp! They wait even a minute. built a massive statue of him wait, in wait, Republic wait. City. They don't just hand these out. Not even Katara got a statue. Oh. The cabbage merchant built his empire with blood money he was paid by the Fire Nation to take down the Earth Kingdom. <laughs> and he has gone on or to. Or maybe he just got an infrastructure of cabbage vendors <laughs> around the world. world. I don't know, you know? One of, if not the most rich and powerful people in all of Africa. How the hell did he get this money? All right, there you go. Bet you didn't expect the mind. Nah, we know you. It ain't over. The true villain of the show. You know, at least he doesn't seem to be doing it anymore. In fact, in Legend of Korra, his company is actually the main supplier of airships for the Earth Kingdom now. So, you know, it seems like he's gotten over his grudge. Maybe this is even his way of trying to make up for all the damage he's done to the Earth Kingdom. You know, maybe this story actually has a happy ending after all. How is he getting arrested? Don't worry, I have a plan. These airships that Cabbage Corp uh, sold to the Earth Kingdom are way cheaper than the ones Future Industries built. Now that's just shoddy workmanship. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hmm? He's, He's still, still holding a grip. It. The controls are busted. It's not my fault this airship's a hunk of junk. Huh? Even generations later, the Cabbage Merchant is still secretly weakening the Earth Kingdom. <laughs> But why? Is he still working for the Fire Nation? Wait a second. No, no, no. He can't be. In Legend of Korra, the Earth Kingdom and the Fire Nation are not enemies anymore. The new Fire Lord is even like super against the idea of fighting the Earth Kingdom. The Fire Nation has spent too much of its history fighting nonsense wars. Who was the enemy? And I refuse to drag my- At this time, uh, it was, it was different people. It was different bad guys. And they end up being like the evil- spirit of the avatar oh okay. like, like the, the evil version but it was several villains the villains in Korra I'll keep it a being I hate Legend of Korra I do y'all are gonna drag me for it but Legend of Korra had some great villains like the villains in Legend of Korra were really good I think they were just wasted on Korra ah uh.
...into another one unless there's no other choice. Why is the cabbage merchant still doing this? Who is he working for? Oh my god. The Black Lotus? It's so obvious. How did I miss this? The cabbage merchant is a member of the Red Lotus. I said black. Red. <laughs> I said black. I said black. Like a I forgot. That... I'm not going to... Nigga, that would be so brilliant if he is a member of the Red Lotus. I'd go even further. Mm -hmm. If he's a founding member of the Red Lotus. Oh my God. You know what, Alex? <laughs> you mistaken? You mistaken? I'm not going to agree with the cabbage bending. But there's a possibility. Man, there's a, possi there's a possibility. Dude, Mike. Dude. There's a possibility. There's a man. I can't discredit this. Well, I would have went more with his his like the um the Bowery King yeah network of cabbage yeah members, and they're all working for him that would have made that would make more sense as to why he would be able to start the Cabbage Corps and know every like if y'all see them let me know and I'll let them know and I think I think that's a little bit more realistic because there's really. always cabbage around yeah. And then it, it'd be a, a lot more realistic if there's a network of cabbage workers. Mm -hmm. And those cabbage workers could be people displaced by Omashu, by Sensei, mm -hmm. and the war. Mm -hmm. So those people would, would have a grudge against the world in general. Exactly. Red Lotus is an anarchist organization from Legend of Korra Book 3. And we're told that there are more Red Lotus spies out there, even though we never actually end up seeing them. And even with Sahir locked up again, we still don't know how many Red Lotus members might be out there hiding. Hmm, that, that kind of sounds familiar. They hate spies, governments spies, and spies. secretly took down the Earth Kingdom from within. Hmm. You know, that that actually kind of reminds me of someone. They hate the Avatar and even tried to kill her. Now, destroy the Avatar. Off with their heads, one for each head of cabbage. And each member of the Red Lotus is a highly unique and specialized bender. Uh, uh, cabbage bending. No, no, that, that's crazy. He can't be. <laughs> He's not an anarchist. Bending. He's just the funny cabbage guy. Okay, specialized bending. Uh, I hate it. What I, was, what I, was that? So they wasn't just regular bending. No. What was I, they doing? I hate it. I don't want to say he's right. <laughs> I genuinely... Because you have lava benders. Lava benders aren't the same as regular earth benders. Mm -hmm. I think most lava benders, they're earth benders who bend earth like water. Because lava is fluid. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? Um... The, the combustion bender, I don't know what bending that is. It's a form of fire bending. And what I don't about know. the water person that is? Oh, uh, I think she could blood bend. Oh. I think she could well, blood. well, well. <laughs> I really forgot about her. I'm the not sure. The Red Lotus is a group that originally split off from the White Lotus. We are what the White Lotus was meant to be. But after the Hundred Year War, the White Lotus lost its true purpose. Its members came out of hiding and openly served the Avatar. And you know, you'd probably think that if they're just like the White Lotus, but more extreme, their logo would probably be just a red version of the White Lotus uh -huh. logo. Cabbage. But it's no, cabbage. they did a full on redesign. It doesn't even look like a lotus flower it anymore. Looks like a cabbage but you know what it uh, does look like? Oh my <laughs> God. A fucking cabbage. It's a fucking oh red Oh my cabbage. God. You can't keep getting away with this. Fuck. <laughs> It's a goddamn cabbage! He dang okay, it, bye. right? Hey, thanks for watching my funny How you even come video. to turn bye -bye. Bye -bye. He dang it, right, bro. I think I might have really fucked up my voice on this one. Uh, yeah, that's my theory. Thanks again to overanalyzing Avatar for What's helping left? It's not over? That guy it has, is. like, an encyclopedic uh, knowledge Alex. of this show, so, so go check I think we already out. got a the hand. merchant in Avatar? What are you talking about? Uh, I know I'm not, like, the first person to ever notice some of these details, but 
as far as I can tell, no one's actually connected all the dots like this before. Uh, I'm still working on that big old final SpongeBob bonus video that I keep talking about. I know you guys have been waiting a long time for it, but you know, it's just a very big project. And I, I still gotta post smaller videos like this in the meantime. Right? That of video course. is gonna be over four hours long. Damn. And over an hour and a half of it is just new SpongeBob theory. Huh, and we was in that whole four hour joint together, chat. <laughs> <laughs> All straight. All straight. <laughs> Twitch, I think we started in our city arcade. Content. So. so it'll be worth the wait, I promise. And, and be sure to check out the game and send off to the SpongeBob part of my channel. But if you I want know to he got look something else to one say. of the new SpongeBob it's Alex. Movies, we don't ever leave. The video, you can Early. watch it on my Patreon right now for $5. And, and also, you get some, some other cool stuff too. And you get to support a little guy like me. That's nice. All right. Support that's Mr. Bell. Theory. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. That was good, bro. Wait a minute, brother. That was good. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot one last thing. Wait a minute, this brother. This mouse is also a Fire Nation spy. In book one, there's a scene where Iroh is just like chilling in the Earth Kingdom. And then a random mouse comes up to him and straight up warns him about the Earth Kingdom soldiers coming. Who's there? You startled me, little one. But it was a very sweet nap. Like, there is no other way to interpret this. This mouse was 100% <laughs> warning Iroh. He and was then, one of six them. episodes later, Momo brings Katara a mouse that looks exactly the same. <laughs> the mouse was spying on the gang. Momo just saved their lives. That was a fucking Fire Nation spy mouse. Right, I'm here to protect. Type B. Type B. Great video, Alex. You deserved it to at least 70% of believer. Yeah, for sure.